Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Gas prices are now close to an all-time high in western New York. AAA says the average price of gas in the Buffalo area is now more than $4.20 a gallon. That is up 46 cents just in the last week and only 7 cents below the all-time record set in 2008. School life is back to normal at McKinley High School. Students in all four grades return to the classroom for the first time since last month's attack. Two students and a security guard were injured. Students spent one staggered day at school last week. Chautauqua County leaders want to hear what people think about broadband expansion plans. A broadband assessment survey will help them spot parts of the country that need service the most. The survey must be completed by March 18th and can be done over the phone or online. You might soon have more places to park overnight. Winter parking rules are being lifted in the town of Tonawanda, Kenmore and Cheektowaga. Town leaders are asking you to keep your car off the street if we do get another snowstorm before the end of the season. For more on that, let's check in with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Well, as we go throughout our day tomorrow, we're going to find a chilly beginning as temperatures start in the 20s, but we'll end up in the mid 30s as we end the day. We'll also get a bit more sunshine as well. Not as much wind, but it's going to be one that we deal with a little more cloud cover in the morning than we do in the afternoon. And any lake effect snow showers are a little further to the east towards Rochester in between Rochester and Syracuse, sunnier into the afternoon. Then by Wednesday, we're going to have the clouds thicken up we're watching this next system that will be along the east coast that could bring in some snow showers across the southern tier into the afternoon otherwise expected to be a mostly cloudy day by the time Wednesday or from Wednesday into Thursday we're in the low 40s 50 on Friday back into the 30s with snow this weekend